Hey, all you Forexers out there, so glad you joined us again for another episode of Forex Formula Radio. As you may or may not be aware, we're in the middle of a nine part series. This is number six. If you haven't already, I encourage you to go back and listen to the last five episodes so that you're in sync with what we're trying to accomplish. Our goal is to create Forex agents who are building complete real estate businesses. But you know, this stuff actually applies to all types of businesses. Number six on the list of what it means to be a Forex agent is this. A Forex agent is consistent. Consistency is the key to enjoying the dream real estate business. Hi, I'm Kelly Johnston, founder of the Forex Formula. And the big question is this. How are real estate agents like us able to create a constant stream of commissions and a constant stream of leads while enjoying life? without wasting big budgets on branding, without working crazy hours, without worrying where the next deal's coming from in today's real estate market. This podcast is here to reveal the answers. This is one of the nine keys that I believe you need to be, not do. And, and that is to be consistent. Consistency is so important for all areas of your life. Are you a person that is consistent? Can people count on that? I don't, I don't necessarily mean being a person who has a regimented routine. It can be good, but I, I would admit that that's really tough in the real estate business. This business can take us in so many different directions sometimes. I get it. I know that. You know, it's funny. I, I think that vitamins are actually really important. The right kind of vitamins, not store-bought vitamins that are cheap and your body's not able to absorb, but good quality vitamins that actually cost, cost quite a bit of money, but they give us the nutrients that we need that we just can't get from our food anymore and that our body can actually absorb. I have this certain type of vitamins that I take and uh, it, it has an AM pack and a PM pack, like a morning pack and one you take in the afternoon. And you think that would be easy, right? Now, I'm pretty good at consistently taking the morning pack. It's funny. It, it comes in a, a kind of a two-pack package. Like, they make it so easy for me. The company who sells them has really thought it through to make it a no-brainer for people like me. <laughs> I love it. It's perforated. You just rip the AM pack and the PM packs apart. And then you have the PM pack. You stick it in your pocket for later in the day after lunch or dinner but I have way more PM packs left because I'm constantly forgetting to take that one. And it's funny, it'd be like eight or nine o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, I'll take it out of my pocket. I'm like, ah, I forgot to take it again. But like taking it late at night is probably not a good idea, so I don't do it. I finally got consistent in taking the morning one and kind of got into that routine. But man, oh man, I have such a hard time of getting consistent with the PM pack for some reason. I get busy and I eat totally inconsistently and at different times of the day and my days are never the same. So, so I fall down in that area. I'm not consistent in that area. So I get it. I mean, I guess, I, I guess if I worked a nine to five job and I was home for dinner every night and had a consistent routine and, I, and I'd be able to work it into my routine, I could maybe make it work. One day I'll get there because it's important. But I want you to know that I understand consistency can be hard sometimes, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the application of consistency, applying consistency to your business, believing in consistency, because that can be hard sometimes. We teach this in the Forex Formula Real Estate course. There are certain activities that produce great results right away. There are certain activities that produce results later. There are certain activities that are hard to measure, but over time produce results. All of those activities must be carried out on a consistent basis, on a schedule with proper intention so that you become relevant to your new clientele, past clientele, and the ones that you're getting to know and that are getting to know you. I'm not going to like do a deep dive into active marketing right now, but this is just one area where you really need to be consistent once you decide on like budget, messaging, uh, you choose the four or five ways to project that message. The message has to be great. It has to be relevant. It has to be planned out properly. But once the plan is set in motion and you've committed to doing the activities, do it. Project ahead, create timelines, and also create a way to measure the success. If you aren't getting any success, figure out how to tweak or tinker with it. But don't give up so quickly on the activity itself unless you're simply just doing it wrong or, or it has no way of creating relevance but more on that in the course. Now, that's just one example. Here's the thing. I see it all the time. People come up with a plan. 
they will execute the plan. And if they don't see results immediately, then they just quit. Think about this. Think like think about this for a second. Okay, you're feeling a little pudgy, okay? I totally relate to this. You may relate to this. Anybody over 30 may relate to this. <laughs> so you're feeling a little bit pudgy, okay? You decide that you're going to go to the gym and you start working out, okay? So you go to the gym. Do you get results immediately? Do you look in the mirror the next day and say to yourself, hey, this isn't working. I guess working out doesn't work. I guess the gym doesn't work. I guess that equipment doesn't work. <laughs> what if you went to the gym two days straight? Worked out eight hours per day, eight hours a day, and you worked really hard at it. Would you see results on the third day? I'll tell you something, you're going to be really sore for sure. (laughs) But I know you're not going to notice any results after two days. I know that. But if you go to the gym, start on the treadmill for 15 minute intervals, three days a week. Then after a few weeks, you add a little bit of weight, lightweight machines for a certain body part at a time. You're putting out some effort now, so you start to watch what you're eating a bit because you're putting out effort. A few weeks later, you increase your treadmill to 30 minutes now, and you start doing two body parts of workout, and you're consistently going three days a week. Two months go by. Will you see results? Yes, absolutely. After four months, you will see amazing results. After a year, people will barely recognize you. Is it the type of treadmill? Is it the type of weights or the amazing machines that you've used? Is it, the gen- is it your genetics? No, it comes down to one thing, one thing only, and that's consistency. Here's a quote from Robert Collier. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in, day out. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. There is never a quick get rich scenario involved. It's never It's never going to happen. Now, there's a few stories out there where you hear about it. You hear about some people just autumn, like suddenly just becoming really rich. You never hear about the stories behind all that. But even if it is some sort of quick get rich thing that's happened, it's like 1% of the 1% of the population. And rich isn't even really the word. Anyway, the reason you hear about it is because it's so rare and extraordinary. If you want to do 80 to 100 deals per year, okay? Do you believe that if you work really, really, really hard, you can pull it off in one month? No, that's silly, right? Of course not. But if you have a plan to do that amount of deals and you put in the effort and you execute the plan and you've taken the time to hone and develop your skills and knowledge, then there's a chance you could do it over time and over the course of a year. Yes, you can. I've done it. So there's, there's all the proof you need to know. If I can do it, a total screw up. A guy who's lost everything three times, a guy who came from nothing, a guy who seems always to learn all of his lessons the hard way, a guy who does his business in an area where the population is under 90,000 people in a small town that most people haven't even ever heard of. If I can do it, you can do it. But it takes consistency. Am I perfect? No, I'm not perfect. Did I do it my first year? No. Here's the thing. Once you know how to do two deals per month, you will know how to do four deals per month. Once you know that, once you do that, you'll know how to do six deals a month on average. Then you'll get to eight or more per month and beyond as you develop your teams and systems if you want to. But the first step is two deals per month. By employing the 4X formula that we teach, the secrets of our systems, the mindsets behind the systems, and with consistent effort, it can be done. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Did you guys hear that? I don't know who you are, where you're from, what part of life you're in, what, what, how long you've been in the business. I don't know any of those things, but you know what? I know you can do this. But you know what the thing is? Not everyone will. That's a sad fact, but that's okay. I don't want just everyone. I don't want just anyone. I want people who, who are willing to do the work, are willing to learn and apply, to learn and apply, are willing to overcome challenges, are willing to screw up a little bit once in a while, are willing to replace some of the old uh, thought patterns with new ones are willing to become a 4X agent. That's what I'm looking for. Be a professional, be accountable, be organized, be a time master, be intentional, be consistent. We're gonna talk about the rest. There's only three left. The next three are the keys to success once you have the first six ingrained in your DNA. This is you, this is who you are, this is what you are, this is what you do, this is what you are about. These are non-negotiable for 4X agents. In order to achieve the dream business, you must Be a professional, be accountable, be organized, be a time master, be intentional, and be consistent. Be, become. Okay, consistency. It's funny. 
Watch this. Watch how this happens. Accountability comes into play here. If you say you're going to send out a survey and follow up within two weeks, and then 30 days after a deal closes, you have to do it consistently. Then be accountable to that. Sometimes you have to make a system and organize yourself so that you're able to do those things. You have to intentionally think it through, put it in your calendar. You see how this all works together? None of these things can be done halfway. A professional performs and takes his business seriously and understands how crucial that one action is. It's the seeds that get planted for future business. So you see why it's non-negotiable? You see how it all weaves together? I could take all the facets of the real estate business and how to build it successfully and do this exercise for everything that we teach. I can bring accountability, being organized, being a master of time, being intentional, being consistent, being a professional. I can weave all those things into every single thing that needs to be done in the real estate business to be successful. That's why they're so, so important. And if you haven't listened to the other podcasts in this particular series, then please do so so that you understand clearly what I'm talking about here. Where do you apply consistency? How do you apply the notion of consistency? How about this? How about thinking deeply about your marketing plan? Think about how you want people to know you. What makes you relevant? What's your differentiator? What's your message? What makes you memorable? What, where, where do people see you? Do you match the persona that you present always, consistently? If the community that you operate in doesn't know you exist, then you're not an option. Do you know that? You fail to be an option for them to consider. First goal, be number two. Be the other option. Do people know you're working? Do people know when you're doing an open house? Do do you do something unique each time you market an open house? Do you stand out? Do your signs match your business cards? Do your business cards match your marketing materials? Are the colors consistent? Are you posting on social media and letting people know that you're out there working? And are you doing it consistently? Do they know about your life as a realtor? Not asking for business. You're simply breaking down the wall, letting them in a bit. Does every single person who is in your circle or that comes into contact with you in some way know that you're a real estate professional or are you a secret agent? (laughs) I I don't mean just greeting someone and blurting out, I'm a realtor. What What do you do? Want to buy or sell a house? Like, come on. But they should already know. That's what I mean. Now, I get it. Very rarely will 100% of the population in your area know that you are a realtor. But are you consistently creating opportunities, meeting new people, planting seeds for more business, using social media to your advantage? Are you viewed as a positive person who is consumed with the real estate business? If you aren't working with a minimum of 10 buyers, are you working open houses every single weekend consistently? Two to four of them. If you make a decision to call your listing clients on Friday at 10 every week to give them updates and market reports, then are you doing it? If you decide that you want to make 10 calls into your database once a week on Wednesday at 4.30, are you doing it consistently? If you have a social media plan, then execute the plan. Do it consistently, not haphazardly. If you have a farm area and want to be the specialist for that neighborhood, then you have to be incredibly consistent for five years minimum. Yes, five years. There's no reason to do it unless you're committed to five years. Don't even start If you're not committed for a minimum of five years, if you do it right, you will literally own that neighborhood. I mean, own it. You will be the realtor of choice in that area. Absolutely. If you make a plan, execute the plan, you do it for that period of time, you will own it. That's a C activity. That's something you do outside of all the other stuff you do so that that business starts coming to you easily. But these are things that are important to do because you, you got you got to start doing it so that you get it later. We teach all of this stuff with executable action steps that anyone can do in the 4X Formula Real Estate Training Course. That is why consistency is one of the nine facets that we require of the 4X agents. There's no reason to even start something unless you plan on executing. Executing doesn't always mean try it once and see if it works. You have to execute with a plan and it has to be consistent or there's no point. Don't even start. Does that make sense? In the last episode, I was talking about the agents that operate like a thermostat. They turn it on when they get into emergency mode and then they cool off and then they turn it on again. If only they understand the power of consistency. If only if they clearly understood that, that they would never have to be in emergency mode ever. It's a habit, believe it or not. I encourage you to create a habit of consistency. Here's a quote by Jim Ryan. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. Motivation can come in so many wrong ways too, right? 
Operating out of emergency mode is a motivated state. Ah, yikes, I better get stuff happening. Ah. It's not the healthiest way to operate. It's highly stressful. Operating out of survival mode. Hey, I've done it. I've been there. I've been that guy. It's the worst way to operate. If you're in survival mode right now, then it's okay. Just recognize it. Own it. Now make a plan. Get yourself out of survive and get to thrive. I'd love to help you get there. Go to 4xformula.com to learn more. Thanks. Thanks everybody for today. I appreciate you. This is Kelly Johnson signing off. Go out there and make a great day. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that last episode. Here's the reality that you may or may not know. The top 20% of real estate agents take home 80% of the money out there, while the bottom 80% are fighting over 20% of the scraps that are left. Do you have a desire to be in the top 20%? If you're working hard and not sustainably making six figures of income and beyond, the problem is not you, it's your system. I struggled for years until one day the light bulb came on and I figured out how to simplify the real estate business. If you want to learn my secrets that anyone can implement immediately that I still use every day that pays me multiple six figures every year, go to 4xformula.com right now. That's 4xformula.com. The number 4xformula.com. 